After questions were raised about appropriate attire for mourners, the monarch swiftly imposed a blanket policy to avoid embarrassment for Prince Harry and Prince Andrew. Several members of the firm were expected to don military outfits to the ceremony at St. George Chapel in Windsor Castle on Saturday, but as Harry and his uncle are no longer working royals this would have showed them up as outliers. In a bid to avoid awkward moments for her son and grandson, the monarch ordered every guest to follow a single dress code. This includes mourning coats and black ties for the men and simple black outfits for the women. Harry was stripped of his honorary military titles earlier this year in the review of his Megxit deal with the Queen after it was revealed he and Meghan would not return to the fold. If it hadn't been for his mother stepping in, Andrew would also have faced a dress dilemma on the morning of his father's funeral. The Duke of York had demanded to attend the service in his admiral outfit, despite having to defer his position after stepping down from royal duties in November 2019. Royal expert Camilla Tomini wrote in the Telegraph in taking charge of the final preparations for her beloved husband's funeral, the Queen revealed her determination to steer the royal ship into calmer seas. She suggested Her Majesty had firmly put her foot down amid arguments over who would wear what for the somber occasion. She added, determined for her nearest and dearest to put on a united front as the family's former patriarch would have wanted, the characteristically conflict-avoiding Queen put her foot down. As royals will be forced to leave their military outfits at home, Prince Philip's close association with the armed forces will be on full display on Saturday. The military has been rehearsing all week for the pivotal role in the Duke of Edinburgh's funeral. The Royal Navy, Royal Air Force and the Army will be in the grounds of Windsor Castle this weekend, taking part in the procession and carrying out other duties including the playing of the last post. Rehearsals have been taking place at the Army Training Center Purbright, near Woking, in Surrey. Footage posted online showed the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery rehearsing outside the castle. The Duke's coffin will be led to the chapel by the Band of the Grenadier Guards, of which Philip was colonel for 42 years. The head of the armed forces has said the funeral arrangements for the consort will reflect the high esteem in which he was held by the military. General Sir Nick Carter, the Chief of the Defence Staff, told BBC Radio 4's Today programme, it will reflect military precision and above all, I think, it will be a celebration of a life well lived. It will also show, I think, how much the armed forces loved and respected him. Prince Harry is set to be pictured with members of his family for the first time in more than a year in a dramatic public reunion. He took a flight from California to the UK this week, touching down in Heathrow early on Monday morning. Heavily pregnant Meghan chose to stay behind in Santa Barbara as doctors had advised her not to travel.